It's the ultimate victory for self-made politician Yoshihide Suga, who in a career spanning decades has finally risen to the highest political office in the land. In contrast to many of Japan's previous prime ministers, his predecessor Shinzo Abe included, Suga does not come from one of Japan's elite political dynasties. He's the son of a strawberry farmer. His elevation means a change in style, but not in substance. As a faithful right-hand man to Abe, he is expected to follow the same conservative economic policies. While applying his acknowledged problem-solving skills to the continuing COVID-19 crisis and the ill-fated Tokyo Olympics that the pandemic has delayed and now threatens to wreck. A well-known figure on the domestic political stage, it was Suga, as powerful chief cabinet secretary, who heralded last year's succession of emperors, unveiling the name of the new imperial era. His appointment as prime minister was confirmed at an imperial palace audience with Emperor Naruhito. While hard-working and reliable, many believe he lacks the charisma needed for the job, in particular in his dealings with other world leaders. That's something that comes naturally to Shinzo Abe, who leaves the office having set a record as Japan's longest-serving prime minister. I would like to express my sincere gratitude to all the people who supported me in both tough and difficult times. Next, today the Suga administration will be born. I would like to ask for your strong support. For the ruling LDP party, Suga's mission is to act as continuity prime minister for the next year before elections are called. With Japan's mounting problems, Suga needs to prove he has the required leadership skills to do that. Rob McBride, Al Jazeera.